Creative Employment Programme is an Arts Council funded initiative designed to open up new entry routes for young unemployed people who may ordinarily be overlooked for work in the arts and cultural sector. We at Creative and Cultural Skills are really proud to have supported nearly 4,500 16 to 24 year olds in the last three years into work through apprenticeships, paid internships and pre-employment training opportunities via the Creative Skills Initiative. We got involved with the Creative Employment Programme as an opportunity for us to actually be able to finance our apprenticeship scheme. It was a new endeavour for us, we'd never done it before and their support and guidance was really helpful um, and it helped our thinking as well to sort of identify really what did we want to get out of the programme and, and how could it benefit us as an organisation. You're getting paid to learn and learning first-hand experience of how an industry works, how an organisation works. And for me, here at Southbank, I definitely learned a lot from my team and my colleagues as well as the general public. And I also felt very welcomed here, so I definitely would recommend apprenticeships. When I first started my apprenticeship, I didn't expect to be given that much responsibility, but I have been given quite a lot of responsibility, like handing in funding applications to a very tight deadline. So I'm quite happy to have been put in that position where I feel a valued member of the team. Day one really was being thrown into the deep end, but that was really exciting for us and being given the opportunity to build an events company from scratch was very daunting, but at the same time it was such a challenge that we were really looking forward to. It's just been a fantastic experience and it wasn't what I thought on day one. I thought it would be a lot more kind of led and we'd kind of take the delegated jobs, but it wasn't. The power was given to us and we really kind of took that in our stride and built the company from it. I think my confidence is tenfold better for the experience of the internship. Because I'm the only person doing the marketing for Soundlinks, it's felt like a real project and seeing the development that what I'm doing is having has been so rewarding and the opportunity to take that further has been an exciting prospect. The impact has been amazing. I mean, we could not have built the company and the business that we have without the Creative Employment Programme. It's enabled us to recruit really exciting young people with great ideas, to give them security for at least a year that they're there with us to build their talents, explore the ideas and create the projects. So it really is those young people in the driving seat. Not only do our learners appreciate the fact there is somewhere new that they can possibly work, but the art sector itself looks at perhaps an untapped part of the population that could contribute magnificently to it. The best part of this course was that I could be in different professional situations, that I could learn skills that I want in future, like time management or uh, team working. And the other best thing is to meet other people, to uh, see what, what are their experiences are, and then use them in the future. Before this apprenticeship, I worked in a factory. I also worked in the post office and a news agent. This apprenticeship compares, well it don't really, it's a lot better. It's fascinating to try and find new ways of trying to improve access routes to our sector. The Creative Skills Initiative is one route that I think is going to prove to be interesting and, and fruitful in the future because of the way that introduces workplace activity and real jobs to young people who wouldn't normally think of them. Without the work of the Creative Employment Programme, we would not have been able to raise the profile of the creative industries as a viable sector to develop young people. In the long term, it has given the opportunity for young people to see the range of work and careers that is available within the creative industries. I think every time we have new apprentices in the office we learn more about what we're doing, we get more ideas for our programmes, we benefit from having them there so much. So absolutely it's something that I think we'll continue to do. I think one of the things that we've seen with both our apprentices is that they can adapt and mould around the organisation's needs and in that first 12 months you get that ability to really invest in them and see them grow. Our sector has a long history of creating unpaid work opportunities and this is something the Creative Employment Programme has worked hard to change. But we know this isn't something we can change overnight. What we do hope is that the Creative Employment Programme has started to help the sector think a little differently about how it recruits and who it recruits. Mm -hmm.